you. I'm really stunned to see you all here today. Uh, nothing prepared me for seeing so many people so enthusiastic, and it only confirms that we did the right thing. I have a message for you. Now. I have a message from your new shareholder. Long live Saab! Well, Jan Oki, I don't suppose you really have ever had a day like this. There's extraordinary scenes outside and, and still the excitement carries on. Oh, this is fantastic. I have never experienced anything like it. It's, uh, it really shows how important it is how important Saab is to, to the crowd and to Trollet and to the employees and it's really encouraging to see all the people's enthusiasm. And if you and Victor Muller are coming on stage like a pair of rock stars. <laughs> I don't know if we deserve it, but <laughs> absolutely. And they were cheering and they were stamping. They wanted you to give them this message, not just because it was their jobs, because it's something they believe in. Yeah, I, th I think so. And, uh, you know, we have, uh, of course, made uh, a tremendous progress with the future of Saab and, and to be able to convey that directly to our employees and anybody else that was around is uh, an excellent opportunity to boost motivation but also give them credibility that we're, we're on our way. Do you think Victor Muller had any idea what he was, you, the kind of emotional reaction he was going to get and that he's had today? Uh, I think he was surprised. He and I have talked a couple of times about this occasion and I've prepared him for it, but uh, I think he was still overwhelmed with, with what he experienced. And looking behind you, he's still at it even now. Uh, I'm not surprised. Well, Victor, look, you couldn't really have come here expecting the reaction you got. You were like a superstar, a rock star going out there on the platform. What was the feeling from your end? Uh, I was completely overwhelmed. Uh, nothing prepared me for this reception. Uh, I had not seen this coming. If you'd had any doubts about getting involved, you don't have them now. Well, I fortunately didn't have any doubts when I got here in the first place. But um, I can assure you that it did confirm that we did the right thing by buying into SAR. Have you any idea of the emotion, though, that these people were showing you? They were cheering you, they were clapping you, they were applauding you. You're, you, you know, you're something very special. You've saved their jobs. Well, uh, yes, and it puts also a tremendous burden on us. Uh, we have to make our promises come true now and they are instrumental in that it's, there's no doubt that you can't build cars without fantastic people and that that component of the equation is clearly in place what we need now is to execute the business plan uh, in as much as we love the brand it's all about making cars that people want and i think that with particularly with the new 95 behind me we have a new car that will be selling like hotcakes because it's a beautiful product and it's a real sob um, the 94X that is coming, I think we're looking at a, a tremendous development of that car uh, in the marketplace as well. And then over time, we'll see uh, the new 93 come up and, uh, and whatever other products that we can, uh, can think of. Uh, I think that the company looks, uh, in, looks to be in good shape, let's uh, say, two years down the road. Now, what are the kind of cars that you want to be building in the years to come? Because a Saab is a Saab is a Saab. It's not uh, a Ford or it's not an Opel. It's something very special and of its own sort. I couldn't agree more. I think that the, the main thing that has basically caused the, the, the sliding sales of Saab is that Saab, to some extent, lost its DNA. And if there's one thing that we need to do in the coming years is bring that DNA back into Saab to build Saab Saabs rather than, than non-Saab Saabs. And I think that we'll see the results of that pretty soon. But one has to bear in mind that um, the development time between the moment that one conceives a car and the moment that it's on the road, it's about two to three years minimum. The snow is coming down. It's a cold day, but it's a very bright future. I would say uh, this was a, a great start of a new Saab uh, chapter in its history.